Well, it was a beautiful day with clear skies for the air show at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. Tens of thousands of spectators lined the tarmac and our own Mike Kenning got a unique view of the air show when he did a tandem jump with the U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team. Every year at the annual Joint Services Air Show, it seems the U.S. Army Golden Knights managed to wow the crowd, jumping out of their C-31 troop ship. Oh, those were so cool how they had like those little trail of smoke coming from them. Once the plane reaches about 13,000 feet in the air, it's all a matter of timing. The pilots are flying the aircraft. They can see straight out. They can't see straight down. So that's why we got a guy hanging out the back door, or, you know, sticking his head out in the wind, you know, steering the aircraft. In free fall, the jumpers race toward the ground going 120 miles an hour. Then about a mile above the Earth's surface, their parachutes are deployed and team members are able to coordinate their landings down to a millimeter. There is a you know, margin of error for sure. And depending on how, how uh, fast the wind is blowing, you know, you want to be in what we call a wind cone. So yeah, it's crucial. Air show organizers are expecting 200,000 visitors this weekend. I've been to air shows all over the world and this one's definitely one to come to. Kids love hearing the roar of fighter jets. My best one's doing upside down and going down, pretending it's falling, lost its engine. History buffs love getting hands on with aircraft on display. I think it's important for the next generation to see what, what uh, aviation involved in the past and the people that flew the planes in the past. And for the Golden Knights, even after thousands of jumps, it never gets old. The air show continues on Sunday. For details, go to our website, WJLA.com. Reporting at Joint Base Andrews, Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News. Looks like fun out there.